Jabby Diffle people, welcome back to my channel. Happy Wednesday. Hope you guys are having a fabulous week. Today we are going to be playing with my VIP kit for this month for May and I'm going to remake a lovely gift from Anne Lane, but keep watching and I will see you very soon. <laughs> Okay guys, welcome back on the desk. Hope you guys have had a fabulous week. Today I'm so excited because I can finally showcase the VIP kit for the month of May. The VIP, in case you don't know, is a subscription that I offer on my website. So you pay once and then as per like beauty boxes, ephemeral boxes, um, stationary boxes, anything, you get a kit two kits actually every month delivered to your email address so it's kind of a surprise because you don't know what you're going to get <laughs> and that's the whole point so you get two kits every month sometimes you get three sometimes you get two it all depends those two kits are huge uh, normally the kits that are sent out are 10 pages and some uh, the small one is four pages uh, but those two ones are huge one is 12 pages one is seven pages and every month the theme is different so for the month of may you get two kits one is called a uh, cherry blossom because obvious reason <laughs> and one is called vintage ephemera floral ephemera because i played with some ephemera so i put some floral in it because as you know i am obsessed with flowers so the main kit is called cherry blossom and i'll let you guess why because you get this fabulous cherry blossom so this one is a milk carton and i haven't got any ready-made um, it's far away from me so with this you get a milk carton box so this is the side that's the top and that's the base that fold on in fact let me go get you one okay so i went out all the way the room <laughs> so you get one of these so okay so once you fold it so this triangle here has those two and then that's the side which is those four and then that's the uh, tabs that you put it together and then you get a really nice steady box that you measure two two and a half by two and a half by two and a half and um, I'm obsessed with this and you know this is the point of my digital kit you get uh, boxes you get tags you get pages you get background you get all sorts so and this is the purpose of I design everything that can give you the chance to make different things um, and that's kind of like what I think I do slightly different from from others creators so you get anyway so you get that's first page then you get lots of background so this one here it's got some glitter background on the back some cherry blossom and some flowers on top okay all with the tones of pink and like gold red a pink sorry rose gold if i can speak <laughs> uh would it be me without a butterfly so you get gigantic butterflies boom to your face <laughs> Then you get another page with all the uh, flowers and the butterflies. This is probably my favourite page of the kit. Then you've got one with the ephemera and some cherry blossom and some floral. Then I just, well, right, in my head, these were toppers. Okay, but what you can do, you can cut them and create your own ephemera. You can put them on envelopes. You can make some small square cards, anything that you want. You get a page with two mini envelopes and a, a scalloped envelope, so quite big. Uh, another page with a huge envelope. So this is kind of like, if you imagine, that's the side, that's the bottom and that's the top. And then a big tag. It's got this, I don't know what you, what colour you see on the screen, but this is kind of like an olive green, greyish. Then you get a pillow box, again different, another gift box, uh, very big, and then you've got some embellishments, some butterflies and some bobbins there. But I love these pillow boxes. Then you get three more tags, one large and two mediums. More tags, so you get five uh, medium size and two large ones 
and then this uh, actually this is probably my favorite page of the kit <laughs> you get uh, i put some lilac in this so you still got your glitter your pink and i just play with some lilac because i think as a combination that lilac and this rose gold go really well together my opinion you might not like it you might hate it and i was like what the hell did you do oh well then the second kit is called vintage flora ephemera because of obvious reason <laughs> so it's literally some ephemera and some um, flowers in it so just put a collage of different bits and pieces so if you like uh, vintage style this is probably uh, the kit for you and then just some put some more different bits bits and pieces five is my number it's my lucky number and that's why you probably see five everywhere then there is a page with all these um, tags and embellishment that you can fussy cut or you can use this as a background. Again, with the same tone of lilac and pink. And then last, no, sorry, two more pages. So there's a page with all um, tape measure. So you can just fussy cut it. These are amazing washi tape. So if you cut strips, you got your own washi tapes and then you can stamp on it. You can use some... Um, uh, embossing powder so you can do anything i've got so many ideas and no time to do it and then last but not least um uh, is a beautiful page with some pink um ephemera on the bo on the back and then some flowers on the top so that's the two kit so if you guys want to join the vip membership you just pay up front so do you just pay one for example if you join in may you get may june july august september october november december january february march and april until 2024 so you don't have to do anything so you pay once and i will send you the kit monthly you get a 20 percent off uh, discount code that you can purchase anything on my website for the entire year so when you see something that you like there you go you got your nominated 20 percent off you get two kits every month you get an offer every month when i send the kits you get a cheeky offer sometimes it's a freebie so you get a full another full kit for free sometimes it's like a three for two sometimes it's a gift purchase i change every month just to give you um to give you a lot of different um options and to be fair guys it's a really good value for money because those kits are very different and none of the kits are similar to one another so and i think it's a it's a really really good value so what i'm going to do today i had the request a while ago well a month ago now was my birthday and I received a lovely happy email, uh, happy email, <laughs> happy mail from the lovely Anne Lane. Uh, Anne Lane sent me a really nice birthday card and also um, this really nice, um, I don't know what to call it. It's like a, a folio, like an ephemeral folio. And each each one of this pocket has some um, bits and pieces, has some stickers, uh, some um, a sentiment a lot of different things and these pockets are quite tall so if you think you've got four different sizes so you start from the small one into a medium one into a large one into an extra large okay and then it's quite cute how these open and close it now Anne hasn't got a youtube channel um so i got tasked to make this to recreate this and i thought this paper today i think will work really well together so let me have a little study of these um i'm gonna do a prototype and then we're gonna make this together okay guys i cut every everything basically and i'm going to go very slow so you guys can write everything down okay so ruler let's start with the smallest one so we've got four different sizes let's call it for simplicity let's call it extra small small medium and large okay so for the extra small which is it's the first one you need a piece of cardstock that measure i tell you in inches okay so it's all it's easier eight and a quarter okay by five okay so what you do you fold it 
score it and fold it and a quarter of an inch and then at four so when you create the envelopes because the envelope is, is they all the same okay it's exactly the same principle so i don't really know what you can see now with them being black so you've got a little tab a fold line and then the lid that folds like that okay and they're all the same so it's four four and a little bit and then the top one is one it is one and a half okay so that's the that's the the kind of like the, the flap of the first envelope the second envelope is slightly different because i forgot the little tab <laughs> but um well yeah it's one of those things so i folded this way because i you see like the first one the envelope is folded vertically this one is fold horizontally so you can i give you a couple of ideas as how you what you can do it so this piece of cardstock measure uh doo -doo -doo, 11 and a half by four of course and then you score it at five and ten okay and what you do guys you fold it like that and then you get the flap okay so that is the second one now don't be like me don't forget the tab okay because you get if you put things in it at least you get a bit of a yeah a bit of a space to store anything so that's the second one the third one i've done like the first one so you've got a score line there and then you fold it over Okay, and then you've got a bill tab in there. Now this measure six and a half by eight and a half, and then you've got one and a half little tab. Okay, so don't forget this is four. So it's four, eight and a half because they're all four. Okay, so they're all the same and then all the little bit on top is one and a half and the last one is there so again it's eight and a little tab so when you fold it you get the four and i've used all basically all the a4 which is nine and a half okay and then you fold it like that and you've got one in, one and a half inch tab so what you need to remember that whatever you do whatever the size your envelopes are you just need to make sure that the width of the envelope is the same and they are all the same okay so they're all four so what am i going to do before we decorate them we need to make them okay so we just i'm just going to put a bit of glue on the tab and i'll be right back so i've got my four envelopes and i use my one inch tab punch and I created a little nudge there just to, as I finish it off. Now, how are we going to put it together? Let's put it together and then we're going to decorate it. Now, because as you can see here, the small one, which is the first one, it's got all the thickness for all the different layers. This is the last one that we're going to put together. So we're going to start from the back and walk the way up. Okay. So the back one is the bigger one, of course. So it's the large one. And then we're going to attach the la the medium one okay so what i've got here so this one yes so is a tab that measure six and a half by two and i've scored and fold at one inch so you've got one inch one inch and then this is the what did i say uh, seven six and a half sorry okay so what you do because we want that to flip over we're going to attach that there and then this bit there so it goes like this so it flip this way but i'm not going to use glue i'm just going to use my double side tape okay so this in fact yeah no no i've done it right so the medium goes here 
on the first tab. And then the large one goes there. Okay, so positioning in there. Leave it a bit of space in there because you want to allow the envelope to fold. Okay, so you flip like that. Okay, and you just press it down. Okay. Now, what we need to do, we need to put the small one, see the small one flip up this way. So, I think it's this one here. So we need a strip that is four by two, okay? And then you fold it at two. So you've got one, um, one inch, space on each side okay so what we're going to do one is going to be attached to this one here and then like that and then the this one will go on top just like that okay and now for the last one which is the extra small one you need another tab again this measure three and a half by two okay and then you fold a one and one and less than one a bit less than one and a quarter and the reason why because you want focus on me focus on me you see because you want that to create you probably see it better here you see this sort of dimension because you get all the different thickness from all the different layers okay so the last will be attached there which if you think it's basically get attached to the very large one okay so you will put a tab like that and then there's more one on top and that will work as a closure of your folio okay i'll show you in just a sec okay so i don't really know oops Oh, she's moved. Yeah, so you need to be, in fact, I'm just going to hold it like that. The reason why I put glue on the last one, because I wanted to make sure that I got enough space for wiggle it in case I have to. Uh, this is probably the trickiest part, is the last one. So remember, the last tab get attached to the very tall one and gets flipped over the front. Okay, and that is basically the closure of the folio. Now, as you can see, I'm not being very precise. Anna, Anna's, Anna's done a better job than what I did. <laughs> Definitely she did. So well done, Anne. But um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. So what am I going to do? I'm going to go ahead and decorate it all. The reason why we decorate it at the end is, you see, because you've got all the tabs, they are very visible. So once your tabs are in place, you can just cover it okay so i'm just gonna go now the only challenge i'm going to have myself unfortunately i don't have any velcro so i'm gonna come up with a different idea for my closure okay done ta-da so original on the left and my version on the right so because i didn't have the um velcro dots i just created a belly band and the reason why because i was looking at the um at the page with the old um, tape measure and i was like actually that would look quite nice as a closure because you've got all the the tape measure going in that direction and i have put one of the butterflies in the square just fussy cut it put it into a black cardstock and yeah that's a little closure and that is the back so <laughs> <laughs> guys <laughs> be careful when you glue it don't be like myself just check what how you glue it so first pocket okay opens like that <laughs> second pocket okay because he flipped down third pocket wrong so it should have been <laughs> the one if, with the flap over it should have been there but actually i made a mistake so <laughs> i glued it on the other way around 
never mind just so be careful guys when you get to the point when you're using your tab to glue the two the two pockets turn these on the other way around don't do like i did to be fair i actually quite like the fact that you get a bit of a break rather than have all the, the four laps like the original one so you know again and it's totally unintentional but you get another option <laughs> and then uh, yeah so that's the that's the last one okay and so that is the front and then the back is all nice and clean so as, as i told you at the beginning of the video i need to put some more glue wait a second because if i don't do it now i'll forget and i know what i'm like and then the glue is not cooperating oh yeah it's cooperating so just put a little blob i need to fill them up that's why so to be fair it's my fault it's not the glue's fault so apologize glue uh, so yeah, so the original one, Anne has done a massive better job than what I did. Um, but no, it was really fun. And I think these papers work really well. When you've got a project like this, when you've got different sections and you've got to choose different papers for each section. And again, because the papers have been designed in the way that they link and goes really well one another, I think the result is actually quite nice because you've got the kit with the butterflies with the kit of the ephemera but somehow they all blend together okay so yeah i'm really really pleased with that apart, <laughs> apart from the front for the fact that this envelope is on the other way around but never mind no honestly guys i think it's um it's a really clever idea uh, thank you so much, Anne, for giving me the inspiration. And um, yeah, so now what one thing I've, uh, I, did, I wish I did with this belly band is making it a bit bigger because I got to when I when I I did it originally, I didn't consider it the fact that you will have a bit of um, yeah a bit of a dimension on the bottom. So yeah, it fit. It's perfect it's snuggled perfectly but um yeah so guys what do you guys think let me know in the comment um original one my version yeah I understand a better job <laughs> guys if you wish to join the vip kit and you, you these two kits will be your first two kits i will put all the link down below there is a join offer i'm offering five pound off because uh, i'm offering to my existing vip members i'm offering this offer as well so it is only fair that this offer goes out to all of you as well so have a look on the box info box when you see all the links and uh, yeah let me know in the comment down below hey guys i hope you like this video if you did please don't forget to give me a usual thumbs up because you're telling youtube how fabulous i am and how much you like what i made i just want to take 20 seconds of your time to say thank you to the lovely patricia patricia uh, is a lovely member of my vip lounge i will put patricia comment somewhere on the screen now and also the lovely naira naira also is a vip members the both left this lovely um comment on my facebook group i just want to say thank you honestly from the bottom of my heart guys thank you so much for watching and until friday freebie stay safe and well bye